Want to get more sales without being salesy? Well, you've come to the right place. Check this out. This is the Sales Gorilla Podcast. All right. Welcome back to the Sales Gorilla Podcast with your host, the Sales Gorilla himself, Landon Porter. Landon, how you doing today, man? I'm doing fantastic, Nathan. I would ask how you are, but you already told me you didn't get any sleep last night because you're an old man. <laughs> your back hurts. Just like yeah. me, we're old people. Yeah, I went, uh, I went swimming with Bella the other day and we spent uh, four and a half hours at the, at the swimming pool and I didn't think that it was going to take the effect on me that it did, but the next day I pulled my back and, oh man, I'm in some pain. So yeah, I didn't get any sleep last night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it happens. We're old. That's, that's a part of what I want to talk about today. Um, your back hurts. Oh my God. Ow. But you know what? You can lay around on the couch all day long if you want, because I, you've earned that right. I can. I'm, I'm doing the podcast instead. though. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, well, you know, it, it's one of those perspective things. Cause that was the first thing that when we got on the call today, I complained about it, but then you were like, dude, compared to most people, our age and who went through the things that we went through having a backache is and being able to decide whether or not you have to go out and do some backbreaking work. Uh, it's, it's not that bad of a position to be in. Or even go into the office like, you know, five, 10 years ago, if you hurt yourself bad, I mean, you got a couple of choices. Either you've got vacation time that you can take or you just call out sick, right? And, but like, what a hassle. It's just not, not really the way that I want to live. And I know there's a lot of people that listen to our show that are still in their nine to five. And that sucks. And, and kind of really the whole idea that I want to talk about today, I don't care when you're listening to this episode. It's 4th of July, 2019. It's 10.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and Nathan and I are recording a podcast. There's a couple of different ways that I want to go about this. This is a choice. Nathan, you could have messaged me and said, dude, I wrenched my back. Can we move the recording? And I'd have been like, of course, right? Because you have that choice. You've got that option, and so do I. At the same time, we've both got the choice and the option to spend some time together on the 4th of July doing this thing that we both really enjoy doing. It's a fucking choice. Um, I just think it's interesting. I've, I've had some really weird interactions the last couple of days with some friends and some family and some marketers in my inbox. And I just wanted to talk about this whole freedom and independence thing and the fact that it's a choice. So I want to break that down a little bit because I've done market research with my market and the number one thing that resonates, the number one message that resonates, the number one idea or persona or um, sense of identity that resonates with the majority of the people on my list, the majority of the people that are my customers and clients, the number one reason that they want to be their own boss is because they like independence. They like being able to choose. I want to work today. I don't want to work today. I want to go spend time with the family today. Instead, I want to be able to choose who I take on, who I work with, who I sell my services or products to. Um, and really, I mean, it is as we're recording this, it's the 4th of July, but independence means different things to different people. But I have noticed that across the board with the people that I work with, the biggest motivator for starting their own business, for being their own boss, is the fact that they have a, a mean streak of independence in them. There's three groups of people as I see it. People like us who don't want to be told what to do and at the same time don't really want to have the responsibility or the, oh, look at me, I'm big, bad, alpha, and tell other people what to do. But there's three groups of people. There's us. We don't want to be told what to do and we don't really want to have to take the time or the energy to tell others what to do. Then there's the next group who don't want to be told what to do, but they want to tell other people what to do. And then there's the third group. They need to be told what to do. And, and in most cases, those people tend to prefer it. And if you're 
frustrated or unsatisfied with your sense of freedom as it applies to what you do day in and day out, you're in the wrong category. And a lot of those people are still in the category where they're being told what to do by somebody else. And they're just like, ah, I can't stand it. Right. I call it unemployable. I am absolutely 100% unemployable. I can play well on a team if it's my choice to be on the team. Right. So, but this whole freedom thing, it does mean different things to different people. And um, what we're going to get into in the next episode is it doesn't matter what it means to anybody else. It only matters what it means to you, whether it's, whether you're talking about freedom or relationships or preferences on something or politics or religion or sex. And Oh my God, we're not going into those three, but it's a choice, right? And um, I guess that what, what kind of rubbed me wrong, and I know my brother doesn't listen to this podcast, but he called me last night. He's supposed to come over today with his woman and we're supposed to do 4th of July. And we were in a conversation and he said, cool, I'll call you tomorrow. And I said, right on, don't call me between 1030 and, and noon. He's like, why? I said, because I'm re- recording my podcast with my buddy, Nathan. He kind of like lost his shit with me. Like it's fucking independence day and da, 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 oh my God, why are you working? And I'm like, I'm really not working. I'm talking to a good friend of mine doing a cool thing that we both enjoy doing. Like, and then he was like, Oh, I'm just like, fucking really? Yeah. What were you doing on Tuesday? Oh, you were working for the man for 12 fucking hours straight. Yeah. You make good money an hour, but guess what I was doing? Fucking off almost all day long. It it means something different to everybody. Well, I think to the, one thing that I've noticed, because I used to be like, we are going to talk about politics for a second. I used to be like a hardcore anarcho-socialist. And I used to be of the mindset that the workers needed to reclaim the factories and all of everything should be, uh, everybody should get a vote on how the, the factory is managed and everybody should get a vote on how the businesses ran. And it was a really hard wake up call for me to realize that most people don't want that responsibility. So for a lot of people, freedom means freedom from responsibility. They want to just show up, clock in and be told what to do. They don't want to be making the decisions of how the business is ran. They don't want the responsibilities of the babysitter slash management role. They want to them freedom means I don't have to make any decisions. I don't have any responsibility on my shoulder. I just show up and collect a paycheck. Yeah. Um, like I said, there's three main categories of people as, as it applies to that. And I would imagine most of the people that are listening to this podcast fit in one of two categories, right? Like where they actually fit. They want to not be told what to do and they don't want to have to tell other people what to do, or they want to not be told what to do. And they want to tell other people what to do. Right. And there's, 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 pros and cons to that latter category, like somebody who wants to be a CEO or a, you know, a board, uh, a board seat, right? It's the power and the, I'm, I'm on top of the food chain. And then there's other people that genuinely are leaders. They're, they're legitimately leaders. And that's the thing that they do is they lead. Awesome. Right. There's the, the good and the bad on both sides and blah, blah, blah. I would imagine most of the people that are in my world would prefer to not be told what to do and at the same time not have to deal with fucking being responsible for other people for the most part. Like there's a lot of people in my world that have small teams. I don't see that as telling other people what to do. Like my team, John and Ash and and some of the other people that are on our team, I don't tell them what to do and thank God because I don't want to, right? To me, that's freedom. We all work together cohesively right? It's all collaboration basically, but yeah, I find it interesting how we as a group of marketers leverage that whole freedom thing, time freedom, money freedom, location freedom. What's cool about that to me is is that it doesn't matter what other people think. You should think about your freedom, but that you get to choose. And to me, that's what's important is, is if you're clear on it, you get to choose it. 
And I think a lot of people are living their life not having had made that choice, right? Either in the past or now, and they're frustrated with what they've got. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today. Before we jump into that, I'm going to add one thing too that really attracted me to you and your whole world is freedom of expression. A lot of people that get into business for themselves, they are terrified to be honest and authentic and express things that they think might alienate segments of their market. And just a really quick side note, I uh, yesterday or the day before, I had somebody who manages marketing for a bunch of different businesses hit me up and say that he wants to contract out copy work to me. And I went and checked out his profile and uh, was looking at some of his stuff and got into a kind of more deeper conversation. And he knows a lot of copywriters. And the reason that he went with me is because he likes the stuff that I'm willing to say on Facebook that nobody else is willing to stick to say. He likes the fact that I'm willing to be my weird ass self. He likes the fact that I'm not afraid of that freedom. And uh, until I got involved with you, I was kind of afraid of that free. I, I couldn't hold it back, but I felt like I was sabotaging myself. So freedom of expression is another form of freedom that I think that a lot of us maybe don't put enough significance on, but makes a huge difference. Kind of the way I see it is, is you will never have the actual freedom that you're looking for until you give yourself the freedom to be just who you are. And what's interesting about that guy, you and I briefly talked about that um, yesterday, the day before, um, that opportunity that you got. And that's my whole take on all of this. Put yourself in the, and this is for everybody that's listening, put yourself in the shoes of your potential clients. It's either a, oh my God, hell yes, this is the person for me. And if it's anything other than that, it might as well be a mm, fucking whatever. And most people that have that fear, like you couldn't hold it back. That was the thing that attracted me to you is because I could see it. You're like, fuck, I shouldn't have posted that, but I can't help it. So fuck it. Like, I don't care. Right. Right. And that's what kind of attracted me to you because you're like, oh, almost there. You just needed to be told, dude, just go that route and screw everybody who doesn't like it. That's the whole point. If it's not a, oh my God, hell yes, from your customers or prospects perspective, you're a fucking commodity and it's just a matter of time before you lose them. And in the meantime, you're pandering to them and you're trying to like get their approval and get them to like it and fuck that. No, that's not how this works. Be yourself. Even if you're really fucking weird, guess what? There's a whole tribe of people out there that thrive on that kind of weird. Even if your weird is like super right down the middle, bland, monotone, brown paper bag. You have a fucking audience of people that that's their thing. Just do you. And those people are just waiting for somebody to stand up and lead them. And it, maybe it doesn't mean telling them what to do, but for them to be able to see, oh, this guy planted his flag on a hill that I totally agree with. People are desperate for that out there because they, they feel like, if you're somebody who does live free, if you're somebody who does say, okay, I'm going to live the way that I want to live. I'm going to do the things that I want to do. I'm going to work with the people I want to work with. Um, a lot of people want that, but don't have the courage. But as soon as they see that you're willing to do it, they'll rally behind you. It's, it's like one of those things that it's really scary to do until you do it. And then you realize, wow, people were desperate to have somebody stand up and do this. I would imagine a lot of the people that listen to our show Remember the show Friends. Okay. You might not have seen it, Nathan. I, I don't see you sitting down with like popcorn and, and tea watching Friends, right? I watched Friends. It was it was at the right time in my life to have that kind of comedy relief, fire up a bowl after work and watch TV, right? Well, one of the characters in there, Phoebe, was like totally the creative, like she was just weird. She was that one. And one of the other characters, Rachel was like getting into running and she invited Phoebe to go with and Phoebe, this grown ass woman, like on the show in her late twenties, thirties 
is like running through public, waving her arms and being all fucking weird and stuff. And it really bothered Rachel. And like, this is the point when you're free to be happy in who you are, your audience will seek you out. All you've got to do is show it. And that's the one thing everybody in my world, everybody, that's the one thing that they're all like, oh my God, once I just started being my weird ass self, like everything fell into place, the right kind of clients, the right kind of money, the like, if I'd only done this 10 years ago, yeah, there's two times to plant a tree, 10 years ago or today. And let's be real. The people that don't approve of who you are and how you act and what you're like don't matter. So stop trying to get them to. Absolutely. Landon, we're coming up on the end of the podcast. Do you have any kind of closing thoughts that you wanted to leave the listeners with? Hmm. Independence and freedom is a choice. And you're the only one that has the power to make that choice. And you're the only one that has the ability to get clear on what those two things mean to you. My, in my world, freedom and independence actually represent two slightly different things. You get to choose. Nobody else can do it for you. If you don't get clear on it and choose what it is, you're living by other people's rules. And even if that's, even if you don't make a choice, you've still made a choice. Just remember that. Awesome. Okay. So if people enjoyed this episode and they want to check out more of this podcast, where can people go to find more? Salesgrillapodcast.com. There's like 50 other episodes that you can check out and these come out every Monday. Awesome. All right, man. Until next time, I will catch you later. Peace out, Cub Scouts. I love some of you. I like most of you. There's a few of you I just can't stand. <laughs>